In my dream the Lord did come to me, and he was a shape, was he who walks behind the rose. So, I love Children of the Corn. It's a series that is particularly near and dear to my heart. The first movie is what I consider a classic, maybe a flaw classic, but nevertheless one of my favorite movies. Set in the fictitious rural town of Gatlin, Nebraska, the film tells the story of a malevolent entity referred to as He Who Walks Behind the Rose, which entices the town's children to ritually unalive all of the town's adults, as well as a couple driving across the country to ensure a successful corn harvest. The movie is incredibly atmospheric and I love its setting. The idea of a town full of Old Testament children chopping up adults is very appealing to me. The leader, Isaac, played by John Franklin, is one of my favorite horror movie villains. Preaching and spouting and spewing all of his these, thous, and thouses to every Tom, Dick, and Harry Dickhorn that he surrounds himself with is an entertainment that triumphs beyond the very Tower of Babel. Courtney Gaines as Malachi is brilliant and foreboding, a child that cannot be reasoned with at all, and is really good at shouting. Outlander! There's an air of mystery about how or why any of this madness began. The movie just throws you into the middle of the initial unaliving spree while Isaac watches. Why have the kids turned on their parents? If you ask me, the movie is about how any religion can and will infect the impressionable young mind. If convinced it's the will of your God, then do you love that God? And it's his will to go out and unalive people, then so shall ye unalive people. The score by Jonathan Elias is one of my top 10 horror film scores. It's so memorable and really heightens the harvest time feel of the movie. It really does for this film what the scores for Halloween and Jaws did for those movies. For as much as I love it, I can't say it's perfect by any means. There were always a couple things I felt were a bit off, like the kid narrating the film at the beginning is great at first, but then he never comes back to narrate it for the last half of the film. There's a couple of exchanges of dialogue between the characters that feel off. None of that really deters from the fact that I love this rural folk horror awesomeness and I pretty much consider it the best in a really long-running series. Although there are a lot of entries in this series that I actually really dig, and if it's your cup of corn, you might dig too.